Hi, um, my name is Michelle DaCosta. I'm the turf grass physiologist at UMass Amherst. And where we're standing here now is at the new rainout shelter study that we have. And so I'm very excited about it. Primarily, this project right here is to save water. We really want to reduce the amount of water that's used on turf grasses, whether it's going to be in the golf course industry, which is what this project right here is targeted to, or even in recreational turf and in lawn turf. Uh, what we're trying to do here is to simulate drought conditions or if we go into periods of irrigation restrictions. And so the rainout shelter that we have is very useful because it's a movable shelter. It's like a greenhouse on wheels and it automatically closes over our plot area, which we're standing on right now. And so it will allow us here in Massachusetts to be able to do a lot of our drought research. Uh, these three species that we have here, the creeping colonial and velvet bent grasses, are well adapted to conditions of New England and just we're missing some information on what their water requirements are and how long that they can go without water. And so without irrigation, we're trying to see which of these cultivars or species will actually perform the best. So there's many different ways that we can monitor the uh, performance of the turf grasses. So we want to try to select, number one, the best turf grasses that will survive under lo the le least amount of water. So one of the ways that we measure how much water the turf is using is by monitoring the soil moisture content. And we do this with this little uh, piece of equipment right here. Use, it's called it's, it's Time Domain Reflectometry. It's a TDR machine. And so all it does is it measures the soil moisture in the top uh, 15 centimeters of the soil. And so all we have to do is actually uh, put the, the TDR, the connector cable probe here, into the ground and we just press it right in and we just press a button on the machine here and it will record our measurement. So this piece of equipment kind of looks uh, funny. It's been used in, uh, with crops and in agriculture for, for several years now and it's called a multispectral radiometer and, um, and so what it does, it has the sensor heads uh, at the top here that we're actually able to measure what we refer to as canopy reflectance. And so what we can actually monitor is very um, uh, small changes in color and density of the plots, which we would expect under uh, as plants start to go into drought or wilt stress. And so we'll be able to pick up differences in what's happening with the different grasses earlier. And as you can see now, we're simulating a natural rainfall event. We just put some water on the back sensor and it's closing the rainout shelter and so and it's going over our plot area and so what we're again trying to do is minimize the amount of rainfall so that we can simulate natural drought type conditions. Once it reopens back up under normal conditions then we'll come back and we'll irrigate uh, either keep some areas under well watered conditions and some will maintain under complete dry down. So we're very excited here at UMass to be able to do this type of research because a lot of us here are trying to do research to try to reduce inputs and management on in turf grass systems, uh, whether it be pesticides or water. And so again, even though in Massachusetts we might not think about, uh, like in the southwest, that we have water restrictions, a lot of times we have plenty of water. Uh, but it is important because in the future water costs are going to rise and just overall we want to make sure that we're being stewards of the environment. And I think that this research is going to be a great fit for um, Massachusetts and New England.